Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Ireland Gaming and welcome back to my Let's Play series. Hurrah! Uh, I'm still running on my old graphics card, but I figure this little card's really pulling its weight, so I figure we'll get we we'll probably get back into the campaign okay. There's plenty of things I can get up to in the meantime without getting into any huge enormous battles, so let's get to it. Um, a couple of things I want to do, we currently have a little attack force coming up this way. Um, I want to get a couple more oil derricks down, or not oil derricks, resource drills. Just to have a little bit of extra resources coming in here, maybe add an extra one here as well. And I also want to build the Rottweiler. And I have another little fella to show you too. Um, there's very little happening on this screen at the minute. Let's get over to the outpost here. Just do this all at once. And uh, something I should mention actually, uh, you might have noticed in the screen here, we knew, now have this new build menu thing. I'm currently in the one of the recent versions of the dev test branch, and there's an interesting new method for spawning vehicles. I'll just show you it quickly. Uh, I'm not using it at the minute, but because it's still being refined, but sorry, wrong menu. Let's uh, go to our Let's Play cannons and let's see, where are we? I want, you see I've organized some stuff, and I have something else to show you too. Um, where is it? The drilling rig. Yeah, that's the one I want. So if we click a favourite button, that should add it to our build menu. And now we have a drilling rig. And this actually lets you put all sorts of little edit the properties. You can change this from a ship to a structure to a installation. And it is a... Su not support, it's supply. And we'll not bother about any of that stuff. But if I do this... Uh, how is it I spawn one in? Yes, build this vehicle when pressed. It will spawn this vehicle a few meters above the ground water at the center of your field of vision. You see when I mouse over that, it brings the menu up. That means that I can spawn that in... Probably want it about here. And that will spawn in a new drilling rig. How cool is that? Um, now, whenever it spawns in initially in the campaign, it will be at zero health. And that lets you move it to wherever you want to go. And now uh, your altitude, I want actually about 10 meters, I think I want to. And we will hit the repair button and that'll start repairing it. And yeah, off you go. Oh, I see the snapper is not in 100% health. Let's get you repairing too, buddy. Now, as this thing builds in, it shouldn't take terribly long. In fact, we can probably turn it on and just hop on board. Hey, and we'll get that elevated to the correct height in a little minute, but it's just to get a bit more resources coming in here, and um, yeah, that's more or less it. It'll help in the future because some of the builds that we have coming up, if you've seen my video showing off my Doberman, um, he's quite a bit more expensive than the other ships, and I really can't afford to build one of those yet, but I would like to build one fairly soon, so um, yeah, I would like to get a little bit more resource income, first of all. Uh, I'm going to get one of the, uh, another one of these guys built at the ooh, Sinner's Outpost, just to have a, a second one. And yeah, I'll, I'll be right back whenever I have that sorted out and these guys sitting in the right place. Alrighty, so we have an extra resource thingy here now as well. This is the Sinner's Outpost place, obviously with the different outpost. And I don't think we need an extra oil one. We have... We haven't got that much oil. And we have plenty. We have enough to keep our ships going anyway, so I think we're okay for that for now. I think I might get another one of these in the future, but we're going to start stacking up on how many resource nodes we have fairly soon, whenever we start to take people out. And that is kind of my plan for this episode. Because, uh, well, obviously I'm still running on my crappy graphics card, and the Deepwater Guard are more or less a tutorial faction. And all of our ships are really, really more than capable of taking out basically everything in the Onyx Watch. I think the sort of purpose of this episode is going to clear, be clear out as much of the Deepwater Guard as possible. And we're going to just use the Bulldog to clear out the North Face. And we're going to send our little coast, our little starter fleet down along the southern edge. And it can take out some stuff there. And I've also got a new fella to show you. Um, first of all, we're going to get rid of all of these. Um, not rid of, just get them out of play. So they're not in the way. And we're gonna get... Okay, we'll, we'll do the wee fella first. Um, 
Remember I said mating ritual for the Springer? Well, that's for something later. But we have this guy. And I, I, I put together a baby Springer. He's not terribly efficient. He's not massively optimized. But what he is, is absolutely adorable. <laughs> he's so cute. Will you see him? Um, he uses one of the little um, smart bomb spinners from that I had on the Varmus. And he's like a little baby, baby, baby uh, Springer. Come on. He's nearly done. <laughs> I gotta say, he turned out really quite well. He's very cheap. He's really like 22,000. Um, and two or three of these wee things can really do a good number on a Kalmar and stuff like that. They perform really quite well. Um, they're very hard to hit because they're so small and they're um, they're a bit janky in the water. They actually have a PID controller for uh, roll stability, even though they don't really need it, to be honest. And it's got a little bit for naval yaw to stop the twerking. But, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with them. If you look at the, uh, the missiles, just as they turn around to face you, he looks like he's got two derpy little eyes. There they are. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that's the Springer Jr. And I actually have an idea for maybe a future video containing this little fella and uh, mummy and daddy as well. So uh, yeah, let's get, get him out of play. Uh, we actually don't want him to be in this fleet. So we'll split you off and send you to go and join a Springer. Where's the defense fleet? No, where are you guys? You are up here somewhere. Ah, we need to close this so we can see things. Ireland Defence Fleet. That's right, they were up there attacking the base. So let's get these guys back down here because we want these guys to take on this faction. Or, not faction, this little uh, group of people down here. Now, we want the Springer Jr. You can rendezvous here. And we need to get back to the outpost again because I have another blueprint to show you. Uh, remember I was saying that the Rottweiler is more or less finished development? Well, let's build one. Um, this guy's a little bit... Oh, crap. This is really close. Um, fast. Hang about. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of that Rottweiler. Where are you? Where are you? Come here, Sonny Jim. I don't see him. Where are those... Okay, there might be some room. Oh yeah, that's why it's forces. Uh, you might be safe enough. Okay. Well, this is the Rottweiler. It might have... No, that's going to start clipping through there. Oh well. Um, but yeah, this is the Rottweiler. And he is after much, much faffing about and trying to get him into something uh, shaping, you know, viability. We come up with this guy. Um, he's pretty good. He's not as strong as Ruger's Bulldog, I gotta say. He's uh, he's just not as tough. He's not as fast. It's a little bit cheaper. It's like 20,000 RP cheaper. What do you end up at? 143k. He's actually not cheaper anymore. Um, what happened with this guy is I sent him off to Ruger. And uh, Ruger added this little cannon on the front. And between that and a couple of other changes that I made whenever I got him back again, uh, the price sort of creeped up a bit. But what he does is looks bloody badass. I am so happy with how this design turned out. Are we sure? Oh my god, we're out of scrap. Blast and confound. Did not see that coming, actually. Do we have a scrap smelter here? We do not. Hmm. How far along are you? 91%. Well, let's just pop him out of play for now. Can I move that away now, or will that grab it again whenever I pull it back into play? You won't. Good. Right. Uh, the Rottweiler should be fast enough now, anyway. And we'll send him off here, because he's quite expensive. Oh man, there's a whole bunch more fleets coming now, too. The 18th Army! What are you made up of? You are a patchwork. Easy peasy. And another patchwork. Not too bad. You are a casket bolt. Those are not too shabby. Marauder, Marauder, with their little bands of NPC bastards, and an Atlas. That's not too bad either. But these are some pretty big fleets starting to come our way. Hmm, I think I might need to bring the Bulldog down, give us a wee help. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, right, 
what, what do we need to do now then? I guess it's just sort of get into action and start fighting stuff. You need to come out of that for a start. And uh, where are you? Did I send? I sent the whole bloody outpost, didn't I? Who's an idiot? I'm an idiot. Well done. Uh, what are you? You are the fetcher. No. Where did I leave the... That's a blackguard. That's a rottweiler. You, over here. Good boy. And we have a Springer Jr. That's where all my scrap went, I bet you. God, we have so little. 600 there. But there's 10,000 over here. Do we have any on any of our resource ships? You are... have nothing. You store nothing. You have a little. You have nothing. Ooh, there's some here. Where's, where's here? The Fetcher has some. Can... Do you have repair tentacles? Can't remember. Well... Oh, sweet! Everyone just healed them. Nice one! Right, well... Um... That's enough faffing around for that for now. I'm gonna try and get these guys into some sort of fleet organization. I think I'll probably add the Rottweiler to the slow fleet. For now. Just in case. Hold on, why am I able to fight these guys? Oh, they're within range. Sweet. Well, I'm too far away now. Let's get let's get organized first. I'll uh, I'm gonna cut here and then I'll be able be right back. I just thought I'd show these guys off together. There's Mommy Springer, and there's Daddy Springer. And there's Baby Springer! And he cute. <laughs> I think he looks pretty good alongside the parents. <laughs> pretty daft. But uh, what I'm, I was going to say is, um, rather than going for a... Well, me talking over the top of the, the fights, because there's going to be a lot of fights in this episode, uh, I'm probably going to clear out maybe six or seven squares now, and it's going to be pretty boring. Um, but I'm going to film most of it, and we're going to do... Uh, speedy up slash montage bit thing that's probably going to cover most of the rest of the episode. So, um, enjoy the speedy up slash montage thing and uh, all the combat and stuff and I will talk to you to wrap up the episode after we're done. Okay, I'm bringing you back here quickly because I have made a decision. The defense fleet is too damn slow, and it's mostly limited by the particles and the rhino, um, and I, I don't want to use them for clearing up the board. But, in those couple of battles that we've had, we've actually collected quite a lot of resources. If you look in our starting, or in our um, outpost zone here, I've been collecting stuff. I brought the resources from over here as well, although 
they're ticking up nicely again. Um, we have a nice big collection in here to use. So I'm thinking, rather than split up this fleet, we can't separate the Springers and their little baby. So we're going to build another couple of Springers. I think we'll build, say, another Springer, and then another Springer and a, not a Bulldog, a Rottweiler. So we can have two pairs of uh, a Springer and a Rottweiler running around clearing up the board and we can send the Bulldog off on its own to the north. And we might need another Fetcher soon as well, um, whenever we start to get a little bit further afield. So I'm going to get starting building those guys up for you. And then we're going to get back to clearing more squares. So back to the montage. Oh, that's a whole pile of work out of the way. Look at how much space we have now. And we even managed to take ourselves a new outpost too. And our fleet is growing a little bit every day. We're starting to see different teams up here. This is the Onyx Watch. And that means that our borders are now with them, which is excellent. Um, I did actually, in the meantime, oops, throw some resources towards the... These fellas here. Oh, actually, they need some more. Um, uh, incidentally, the, the reason that I couldn't bribe these guys in the last episode is because you actually have to be in the zone, in a zone, with your character with enough resources to bribe them. Um, I believe we are in somewhere now, so... Uh, okay, so we haven't got any there. Do we have anything? We have three metal. We have some natural. We'll have to go somewhere else to do the bribing. Um, but I want to wrap the episode up here. Um, like I said, we got absolutely loads done. We've really established our control. And I think next episode we'll probably do much the same. I want this resource node. And I think the um, deep water guard area, like the 
their fortress is somewhere over here. It's like a Jan wall, so yeah, that's not too far afield. We could be taking the Deepwater Guard out very, very soon and then moving on to the Onyx Watch and possibly maybe the White Flares as well. Um, I'm a little hesitant to go straight into the White Flares so at the minute because a lot of their craft use loads of thrusters and it lags the hell out of my PC at the minute, so um, I'm maybe going to avoid them until I get my graphics card back. But I really hope you enjoyed the episode, and I like subs or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys, and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy, and have a bloody good day.